Cheers! How you do, buckaroos? How the heck are you? As uh, Beat Daddy's Luna Blue is finishing up, a little uh, bit of a moody tune, but it's it's good. <laughs> no melancholy, anyway. Uh, hey man, so I got Hang 'Em High from Torn Label Brewing, part of their uh, rotating uh, IPA series, a uh, seven percent. Featuring Pacific Northwest hops, it says on their website. And typically, when someone says Pacific Northwest hops, uh, they're usually talking about the Cascade hops. Now, I'll be honest with you, personally, my my, my favorite uh, from that uh, neck of the woods is, is the Crystal. But most commercial breweries are going to use Cascades and not Crystal. However, the aromas. And I'll admit I had one of these earlier. I did a live video earlier in the day. But uh, so the aromas and the flavors to me really bring up uh, notions of Amarillo. Now, I don't know if Amarillo is in here, but it really feels like an Amarillo. I really think this has cascades as well, but I really feel there's some Amarillo in here anyway. Uh, by, by, the, by the amount of orange that I'm getting, the, the pungent orange really feels like an Amarillo hop. But I could be wrong. Wouldn't be the first time. I'm just spitballing here. <laughs> But I'd be very surprised if there wasn't Cascade hops in this thing. And although this is clearly not a, a New England or a hazy style IPA, it really sort of has that that, that the aromas uh, and flavors of that, uh, that that creamy citrus is what I'm kind of getting at here. I know if you can hear music from Beer Whisper Radio over there, but got some alleged diamond playing as we speak, as Luna Blue from the Beat Daddies finished up. I've got an interesting combination of, of various blues and uh, an 80s heavy metal. <laughs> uh, it, it's just the folks that uh, gave me permission to use their music, so it, it is a little varied. So I, I mentioned citrus. You, you get citrus in a great big way here. Uh, but I also feel like I, I, you're going to pick up some stone fruit in the middle. I'm going to say, uh, if I had to put a fine point on it, I'm going to say apricot. The finish is very dry and very herbal. Uh, but there are some citrus notes too. Uh, you, you're, gonna, you're certainly going to find some orange zest. I also feel like you're going to pick up some, some orange blossom-like notes in there as well. I, it, it's it's a very nice IPA. My only issue is the price. Eight forty eight is a nice price, but it's a four pack, and, and I'm a bit of a, a well. I, I, for me, a four pack. If, if you're gonna, if your if your beer is in a four pack, it oughta it needs to be <laughs> needs to be a double or an imperial something. And it needs to be at least eight uh, percent. But uh, uh, hey, man, that's just me. Um, eight forty eight for the four pack. Not necessarily bad for a seven percent beer, but. It would have been better if it was 8%. I'm just saying. For a 7% beer, it ought to be a 6-pack for 848. That's just how I feel about things. <laughs> I have definite opinions on stuff. Anyway, having said all of that, it is a damn fine beer. Uh, they list the regular price at 948. They had it set a sale price, an introductory price, if you will, at 848. But I really think it ought to be a six pack. That's just how I feel about stuff. Uh, but uh, I imagine that their whole series is that for the four pack. So I guess that's why they do that. But if, I, if I'm paying, a, if I'm buying a four pack, I really want it to be eight percent or better. Anyway, I'm not going to get hung up on that. Uh, <laughs> it's a damn fine beer. It's good. It's good. You know, whatever they want to say, it's their beer. They can sell it any way they want to. What do I care? No sweat off my balls one way or the other. Either way, it's, it's a damn fine beer. Yeah, you know, again, I mean, it has all the flavors and the aromas and the presence, the mouthfeel even, the the, the, the texture of that of, of a New England style, even though it's clearly not that. Uh, but the flavors, the aromas, uh, the presence, I mean, everything really feels like that's the direction it wants to head. Will I buy it again? Yeah, to be honest, it really is that good. I probably will. And I'll, I'll complain about the four pack, but I'll probably pick it up anyway. <laughs> 
So tour label, there you go. Uh, yeah, I've been impressed with all their works. Uh, their Oscar Pilsner was was it was damn fine. Uh, the uh, uh, the Monk and Honey was brilliant. Uh, yeah, that, that beer was impressive. Uh, the Pale, man, that Pale was surprising. Alpha Pale, excuse me, I got a burp here. Oh, excuse me. Hope I didn't get any on you. Anyway, anyway, I digress. You got some Lace Diamond back again. Oh. What is surprising, though, it, it really is how dry it finishes, because I'm not expecting that very dry finish. It really finishes extremely dry. With that, again, that those orange zest-like notes sort of lingering on your palate for a time. So there you go. Anyway, I digress. I am Tom to Beer Whisperer, Beer Evangelist, but we were doing our prayer was a man. <coughs> Oh. All right, good guy. Cheers, y'all. Oh, I got another one stuck. Oh, there we go. Gonna have to have my wife burp me again. Anyway, cheers, y'all. <laughs>